Hello guys, just a quick note, uh, also again, my brother Chris Bolin is uh, talking about these folks that so-called go to heaven, they have stories of going to heaven, and they've uh, had experience of going to hell, and they come back and just elaborate, brother Chris, you're right, you know, and I tell you firsthand, uh, growing up in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, there's a man that started, I'm sure there's many before him, but one of the main ones was Kenneth Hagen, senior. Kenneth Hagen, senior of Rama Bible College. This man claimed that God has given the gift of healing. He had the gift of faith and uh, seen Jesus face to face. He said he was crippled when he was young and Jesus came and healed him and said, I'm giving you the gift of faith. He said he seen Jesus in a couple of times. And then here his son comes along, all of a sudden he's seen Jesus too. These are the guys that where Kenneth Copeland and all these guys were learning from. The guy, big guy, prosperity gospel, Kenneth Copeland, that's who he learned under, Kenneth Hagen. These, that guy. So what does that tell you? And man, with most of these people that have these experience of going to hell and you know, it's propaganda. These people go to hell, they're making money, one thing, I'm telling you. And they're getting all these hits on YouTube, whatever, you know, thousands and thousands of people are following them. But everything that they say, usually, it, I, if not 100%, it's always works salvation. Works salvation. It ain't just believing on Christ. You gotta do something. You gotta uh, go out there and, you know, run up and down the road trying to save everybody and just if you're not doing that you're not saved you know these guys they want attention a lot of them and I saw one guy you know I went around and around with him like I was telling my brother there you know I mean it went on for like a week he's going oh it was a real experience you know and he said the Bible was I was in this uh, I I felt that I was dying. He's, he was on all kinds of drugs before this happened, by the way. He was drugged out of his mind. And he said he woke up in his own room and everything changed. It's like the Bible. He went to go reach for his Bible and it had no words in it. Like the movie that, of one of the guys. There was a movie that, that was kind of like that, he said. you know, He'll probably see this video of me making it of him. I forgot his name, but... But the actual movie was a book, and there was no words in it. Well, maybe his mind was recollect, rec you know, he's having this dream or whatever, you know, <laughs> in his state of consciousness. Yeah, you, you, you took some drugs, and you, you're out there. Yeah, you're dreaming all right. Did you go to hell? I doubt it. But he said, the thing he said, he remembered is that, um, that hit me that I thought was just, but he forgot the rest of the verse. He says, uh, the wages of sin is death. And I mean, that's what he kept telling me. And he said, that's what he heard over and over. And I said, well, you gotta finish the rest of the verse now. The wages of sin are, is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You didn't finish the verse, I mean, the, the scripture there, butter, brother, you know? But he wouldn't have it. He wouldn't have it. He says, well, we're not going to have, uh, there ain't going to be a Bible in heaven. I, I, I mean, why would you need it? But you know scripture. You don't need it because you know scripture. And it would be clear to us what we'll see the word for as he is. For we, be, we will be like him, the Bible says. But he went on and on like, like you're going to need a Bible. Well, I get that. But who's to say that it won't be right there? Anyway, on and on. I, I'm not going to linger on with this whole thing, but just be careful of those guys. You know, they claim to have all these experiences and <sighs> see demons and cast out, you know, all this. On and on. Guys, run. That's all I got to say. Run. These guys don't adhere to Scripture at all. I've seen them. They, they don't even look at the Bible as their authority whatsoever forget the bible we got our own doctrine now and that's how uh false 
uh, cults get started, false doctrine and false cults, doctrines of demons, you know, or devils, if you will, to be scripturally sound about that. But I mean, that's how it gets started. That's how people get following folks and that's how people go to hell too. That's how people go to hell. Not believing on the book, not believing on Christ, what he says is true. Anyway, I'm not going to keep on going on, but it does anger me. You know, I think about it, you know, Chris uh, kind of reminded me of that, and it is important. Watch these guys. Be careful. Do not, don't even, I would say don't even listen to them. Don't even turn it on if you see that they've had this, had this uh, experience to hell or heaven and seen angels. Don't waste your time even clicking on it to even listen to it. It's a waste of time. Amen, amen.